Hello, I'm Jack Ferguson, the President and CEO of the Philadelphia Convention and Visitors Bureau. And we're here in the beautiful Pennsylvania Convention Center with two distinguished guests. Uh, to my right is uh, Congressman Jim Greenwood, the President and CEO of the Biotechnology uh, Industrial Organization, as well as the former Governor uh, of the State of Pennsylvania and now the Senior Vice President of Rentex. Welcome. We're glad to have you here. Good to be here. So, Congressman, I'm going to start with some questions to you, okay. and we'll see what, where it takes us, okay? Very well. The first one we're really interested in, tell us a little bit about bio and how bio has helped the industry. Okay. Well, we're the National Trade Association for Biotechnology. We have about 900 members. We're 21 years old. Uh, most of our members, about 80% of them, are in the drug discovery business, and they include big pharma companies and big biotech companies and hundreds of small startup companies. We also rep represent the food and agricultural side of biotechnology, so Monsanto, DuPont, Dow, people who make uh, genetically modified seeds, and also, as you mentioned, the industrial and environmental section, and these are companies that do biofuels and advanced biomaterials. So that's our membership. What we do for them is a couple of things. One, uh, we bring them together at meetings like this uh, with each other and with investors uh, to help them raise capital mm -hmm. and do deals uh, and collaborations. And the other thing we do is we help create the policy that will enable them to succeed, and then we advocate for that policy in Washington, D.C., um, before the Congress, before the executive branch of the federal government, in all 50 states and around the world. Terrific. So, Mark, take it to your company, and how has bio helped you uh, grow your company and, 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 and make a name for itself in the well, industry? I think aside from exposure and just the richness of the exchanges and the ideas that are a part of this experience, this gathering is, uh, just as Jim mentioned, the opportunity to rub elbows with potential partners with whom you could be doing business, mm -hmm. uh, strategic uh, backers in the financial sense. So truly our ability to grow as a smaller company lies in the ability to interact with larger companies. And both are part of this very exciting environment that is going to occur right here at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Terrific. A question for both of you. Philadelphia and its location, how does it play into the importance of bio uh, and its meetings? Mm -hmm. Well, first off, if you look at the drug discovery side, uh, where you get drug discovery is first off where you have really fine universities, and we certainly have them here in Philadelphia, probably leading with the University of Pennsylvania, at least in terms of the amount of National Institutes of Health money that comes in there. So you have basic research being funded by the federal government. And then a lot of those um, uh, researchers, those professors in many instances, uh, will go off and create their own uh, biotech companies. And then you have some programs here in Philadelphia, and the governor was helpful uh, with these when he was in that position, to incubate these companies and provide uh, the ability for them to get through the so-called valley of death. Mm -hmm. Then we have these fabulous teaching hospitals. So if you do to, uh, develop a drug here, you, you can do clinical trials uh, uh, with academic researchers. And so all of those ingredients are there, and as a result of that, we have big presence of pharmaceuticals here, like Pfizer, uh, Merck, AstraZeneca, et cetera, uh, GSK, GlaxoSmithKline, mm -hmm. uh, and a, a growing body of mid-sized biotech companies. And now we have uh, companies like uh, Governor Schweikers that are in the biofuels business. Uh, so you have a, 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 a sufficient group of very thoughtful, well-educated people who can make this industry grow. Terrific. Yeah, I would add, we're in a geographic sense right in the middle of what was called Chemical Valley. I mean, the presence of DuPont and south of here, I mean, they're worldwide. Uh, Roman Haas, now a part of Dow. But at one time, uh, you know, the, the reputation, the economic impact, the economic success was linked to Chemical Valley. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the, 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 that success creates smaller industry uh, sectors, industry subsectors. We compete in one of them. You know, cellulosic sugars for biofuels or for renewable chemicals. And our ability to operate here successfully, to populate the operation with a lot of the, the smart people with the right skill sets uh, at Redmatix in a suburban location rests upon that chemical valley heritage. So in my mind, and I know I speak for all at Redmatix and, and our, our, our strategic partners, what more central place what, what's the best place? It, you know, we, we guaranteed to bring folks together and they can easily get here right in Philadelphia at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. Governor, you make a very good point. I just want to share this with everybody. 
easy to get here. We're within 40% of the U.S. population by a day's drive. Certainly what has happened with U.S. Airways and American Airlines, with, the, with them emerging to form American Airlines, the world's largest airline, really links us to the globe and makes it so much easier because both, both of the groups that are in here, industrial that's here now, but bio in 2015, very, very heavily focused on the globe. Well, I think that as we talk about geography, if I could, Jack, to often would say to folks as, as we grow our company or, or some years back in my work uh, working with you to grow the region's economy, talk about central, mm -hmm. uh, centrally located to the north, New York City, you know, mm -hmm. the, so to speak, the business capital of the world. Exactly. And just to our south by train is the political capital of the world, certainly of the U.S. in Washington, D.C., where bio is located. So truly uh, in the right spot. Exactly. We'll be bringing people here from next year from 65 countries. Mm -hmm. So in terms of being able to get here from anywhere, you know, it's, it's, it's not one of those places you can't get there from here. You can get here from there. Terrific. Terrific. What should we expect, Congressman, here at, at, at Bioindustrial this week? What should we see happening? You're going to see a number of things. You're going to see uh, uh, present uh, panel discussions about policy. I'll be leading one of those shortly. You're going to see um, panel discussions about uh, pr new products. What's the latest uh, uh, renewable materials that are being made and what are the applications of those things? Mm -hmm. Everything's from carpets to uh, materials to make automobiles and, and, and their parts to actually food products and so forth. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of discussion about policy um, because, as, uh, as I often say, uh, you can have the best science in the world, you can have the greatest uh, business acumen, but if the political um, culture is not uh, uh, conducive, if the policy culture is not conducive, then we won't succeed. So we have to, we have to do a lot to make sure that Congress does the right thing and that the states do the right thing so that we can move the country forward in terms of cleaner and renewable fuels. Terrific. And Governor, attending the conference this week, what does that do for you and your company? Well, we've got some real smart people and they work hard, but it's important in an external sense to be out and interact and rub elbows with uh, political leaders, uh, business leaders, folks from other countries. And that is part and parcel of the experience at, at the, uh, the Congress. So uh, you know, they're all, they'll advance their knowledge, they'll grow their relationships, and all of that uh, works in a profound sense uh, to help our company. And as we see it, we would also be a responsible corporate citizen for Greater Philadelphia. Our success on those fronts means that perhaps we're going to hire a few more people and a few more paychecks for people who live nearby. So, you know, the, the presence of uh, the, the World Bio Congress and all of the, the influential people who gather here together means momentum for Greater Philadelphia. It certainly means momentum for our company. True. And what, and what the governor's company uh, does for bio is, uh, well, they support us by joining and paying dues, but uh, equally as important, they are able to identify for us the policy impediments that might get in their way so that we can then work on trying to figure out how to ameliorate those impediments and change that policy so that they can succeed. And I'll, I'll add too, as we finish up, that you know, we're, we're a growing industry mm -hmm. uh, you know, compared to the long-standing you know, petrochemical industry as an example. They've got plenty of cloud. Well, together we're strong and literally we come together here. So to some ex extent, aside from the impressive science and the, the, the very impressive technical progress we've made and, and the new companies, I think we, we, we confirm for each other and as a nascent industry and its leadership that this is a team sport. Together, when we act as a unit, as a team, we're going to be heard in places like Washington and, and other capitals around the world. And I think, in fact, with Jim's leadership, th that's been accomplished. But here, for a couple of days, we underscore that, how important it is to be together and as a team. Terrific. We cannot thank you enough for taking some time here at the beautiful Pennsylvania Convention Center to talk to us. We can't do it without organizations like Bio coming in for industrial or for their annual meeting next year. It's very interesting. We expanded the center to accommodate you in 2015. Um, you employ a lot of people in the hospitality industry and going back to what you said, the moms and the dads and wanting to have a quality of life. Certainly the business that you bring here to us and will take very good care of you is important because it keeps our people employed. Thanks Great. for your time today. Okay. Thank good you. to see you again. Good to see you. Thanks, Jack.